this has been a year. <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining in uh, my name is Mariah Campbell if you don't already know thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope that you all feel the need to subscribe like and comment and also share this video with somebody that you love and really care about um, so I am coming on here to talk to you guys about 2021 aka year two is it year two year two of the COVID-19 pandemic y'all that in itself shows the amount of resilience that it takes to make it through uh to the end of the year y'all we've been in the middle of this pandemic for lord knows how long well two years of course but you know it just seems like forever and so much about our lives have changed but um we've made it through and so that is a blessing so you know we can give ourselves give our god a round of applause for that this is the first year that i can remember that i actually was very intentional about the year what was going to take place and how i wanted uh you know god to be a part of that year and i will tell y'all that this has been a year and i say that both it's been a year as far as you know adversities but it's also been a year of great successes and so if you guys can remember god he gave me in a dream at the beginning of well actually the end of last year around christmas time he said i want you to make a scripture board and i want you to use a scripture to anchor yourself this year and i was like okay you know i've never done a whole scripture like a scripture that's gonna carry me throughout the year of course you have your own little nuggets here and there for whatever season you're enduring at that time great that helps but for me to use one scripture that's gonna take me throughout this whole year every situation i go through i'm gonna look at the scripture and be like wow that just spoke to my spirit i was just really like not what but like wow <laughs> like okay let's try it so i was like lord what is the scripture that you want me to anchor myself in this year i'm sitting over thinking that it's gonna be some grand scripture that i have never read before or you know that it's not as familiar and then god gave me psalms 23. naturally i'm like psalms 23 like the lord is my shepherd psalms 23 like that that's what we're doing and god was like yeah psalms 23. And so it wasn't until I got to that place of where I was like, okay, let me annotate this. Let me try to me meditate on it and, you know, really ask the Lord to speak to me through the scripture. And so, of course, it's the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Y'all know the scripture. I was really like, okay, Lord, so you want me to incorporate you into my decision making. That's what I got basically from that scripture. Okay, great. But as the year continued to unfold and things started to happen in my life, that scripture meant so much more. It meant so much more. Yes, I will say that as I was going through this year, there were a lot of significant, very significant decisions that I had to make. And although some of them were very painful decisions that I had to make, um, God has guided me and, and led me and really brought me comfort in those decisions. But also, I mean, I've gone through so much this year. I've experienced loss. I've experienced loneliness. I've experienced a lot of great successes, a lot of great things happening in my career, my professional life. Um, I've experienced, I've had COVID, you know. And so God was really using this year and that scripture to really anchor me and to increase my faith. Because y'all, when I tell you I got COVID, I'll be honest and say that was a really rough patch um, in my year, but it was also one of the greatest comebacks of my faith and really just trusting that God was going to bring me through and look at here. <laughs> I'm just so grateful that God has been sustaining me, that he's been keeping me. And one of the things that he used to keep me throughout this year and throughout the various seasons of this year was Psalms 23. And so... I can't go through everything that happened to me this year. I can't go through every situation that took place, every good thing, every bad thing, but just know that this was a year for me full of lessons, loss, um, successes, <laughs> increase in faith. You know, so it had its negative moments, but it also had its positive moments. And so now I'm coming to, we're in December, at the end of December, it's about to be a new year, and I have come to a heart of gratitude and, and, and thanksgiving and knowing that God has kept me, He has sustained me throughout this entire year. Amen. 
God led me to take a piece of paper and to fold it in half. I don't think it's important to fold it in half, but I guess that's just my my way of thinking. But on the top, I wrote, thank you, 2021. I encourage you to take a, a, a few minutes or if you have to do it over a course of a few days, but to take a few minutes and to write down every single thing that you're thankful for that happened this year. I will say that I have some good things on this list. A lot of good things on this list. But I also have some things that could have been taken into a different perspective that it could have been seen as a negative thing, especially in that moment. It could have been like COVID. It was definitely seen as a negative thing. But there are so many things that happened within my heart and within my life as an effect of having COVID. My faith increased. I learned how to trust God a lot more. <laughs> and I also learned that when I have nobody else around that I can talk to God more. So I started talking to God more. So whether you viewed this year as the worst year of your life, you have something that really broke you this year, something that was really negative, try to look at it from a different perspective. What did I gain from this? Was this a lesson that I learned? Did I gain a, a fruitful characteristic from this, this situation? I know that may be hard, that may be difficult, that may be like, Mariah, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. But I'm learning each and every day that regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstance, that we still have a reason to be thankful. So on this list, I have good things that happened, great opportunities that took place, but I also have some negative things with a, a change perspective into the perspective of gratitude and, and realizing that every bad thing, God is gonna turn it into, he turns your ashes into beauty. So um, I encourage you to make this list. Don't feel so pressured to where you have to, you know, make, make it short or make it long, but truly look at everything that has happened in your life, everything that you've still been dwelling on, put it on this list. I encourage you to do that activity, but I also encourage you to do your scripture board because it's so, so fruitful. Yes, we do vision boards. Yes, we do uh, all this other stuff, writing down our goals. But I really, 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 really encourage you to partner with the Lord, partner with the Holy Spirit to see what it is that you'll need. Give him access to your day to day life, not just when times are bad, but really just allowing him to walk in this life with you so many of us and me included look or have this desire to have a life partner somebody to walk with us and to move you know just to do life with but i'm telling you that opportunity is already available to us we can do life with god but we have to just you know give him access allow him to be with us day to day Talking to him in the car or talking to him whenever, you know, you're at the computer at work or whatever that looks like for you. But to invite him into your day to day life. And I promise you that your year, your life and your heart, most of all, will transform. It will change. It will be different. And I'm so grateful for this year with all its ups and downs, all its hills and valleys, I'm so grateful that I had God walking with me every step of the way because I was able to see the beauty in the midst of ashes. I was able to see the fruit in the midst of a barren land. Like, y'all, we are going through some stuff. It is COVID. Then we have political issues, social issues, economic issues. There's so much hopelessness in the world. And yet, if we just hold on to the God of hope, we cling on to him and walk with him throughout this life i promise you our perspectives will change our lives will change our hearts will change and it's like literally i've seen this year do a whole 360 and i'm so grateful so i i love y'all so much i am so grateful that y'all have come on this journey with me so far that we've made it to the end of the year god is so good um and i'm praying that uh you all experience a fruit and uh, um just the joy of the Lord in this next year. Y'all, I, I promise you, you can't go wrong with doing it with them. But you can always be wrong with doing it without them. Tell me I'm wrong. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this blessed you and encouraged you and made you ready and excited for the next year. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see y'all in my next one. And always remember that I love you. But most of all, God loves you. Bye, y'all.